The bass player, his name is Chip Jackson, a wonderful bass player. <laughs> On piano, I'm sure many of you know the piano player. We miss him when he's on the road. Chicago's own Willie Pickens. And leading this jazz machine, one of the greatest percussionists of all times, Elvin Jones in the jazz machine. We've been introduced, so I'd like to tell you that what we will play. Our first uh, selection will be uh, uh, EJ's Blues, and uh, we'll followed by a, a composition written by my brother Thad called uh, Ray L. And uh, we'll, uh, after which, we'll play uh, one of uh, Frank Foster's comp original compositions titled uh, Someone's Rocking My Jazz Boat. So we hope you'll enjoy it. And it's, it's indeed a pleasure to be here. We thank you very, very much.
WPFW Washington.
Testing, testing, testing.
Chip Jackson, Sonny Fortune, Robbie Coltrane, Chicago's own Willie Pickens, and Elvin the Jones. The fireworks Elvin courtesy Jones, of drummer Elvin machine. Jones with his jazz machine. The crowd's thunderous in its applause. Kept you live from the Chicago Jazz Festival. I see you backstage with Wiley Rollins and Dick Buckley and a couple of the members of Elvin Jones' jazz machine, including this man, one of the saxophonists in the group. You know, there are some legendary names in the history of this music. There's Armstrong, there's Parker, there's Davis, there's Coltrane. And if you are the son of John Coltrane and you choose to play the same instruments John Coltrane played, one might ask Ravi Coltrane whether you're asking for trouble. I'm just asking for music. I'm not trying to be anyone. I wasn't, uh, there was no design, in other words, for me to play music. It was never forced on me or pushed on me. Uh, I'm only playing because I enjoy the music. Yeah, I, I, just in case anybody wasn't sure, Ravi Coltrane was one of the saxophones along with Sonny Fortune in the Elvin Jones Jazz Machine set that we just heard. And you and I talked a little bit about this before the, uh, before the program started, before you went on the air. Uh, we, uh, you, you did allow that uh, this is a question that comes up a lot. It came up in the introduction. It is uh, in some ways perhaps a burden, but it's a one that you have chosen to, uh, to endure or found a way to deal with. Well, I, I consider myself a saxophonist. I don't consider myself John Coltrane's son. I don't like to be introduced as John Coltrane's son. You know, it's, uh, music, is, music is the most important thing. You know, names, and uh, it's not about that. It's about, um, you know, your dedication to uh, the music. And, uh, and yet, of course, you're, you're familiar with your father's music. You've heard it and studied it. I'm familiar with uh, all the music. You know, I love this music. I didn't start playing music because of my father. It wasn't, it wasn't about that. It was about I love this music, that's all. It took you a while to actually find your way into music, though, or at least onto the saxophones, isn't that right? It took a while. It took a while. I didn't start really playing until I got in my 20s, you know, uh, only because it was never a part of my consciousness as a kid growing up, you know, to play the music. What brought that along? What, what got you into this situation and into a situation where you're in a band led by a man whose name, we have to admit, is inextricably linked to that of your father's? Oh, when Elvin called me, I, I, you know, I knew there would be this implication of me being in his band, and I didn't really, I didn't really agree with that, what you know, most people assume is happening here. And Elvin is the sweetest guy in the world. His intentions are solely based on music, and it's nothing... Um, you know, he made me feel so secure that I, I couldn't refuse, you know, and I really thought it would be a great uh, venue for me, you know, to work with Elvin, you know, because he's just so positive, it really uh, can inspire you. Well, there's no question about that, that for any young musician, and many great ones have come up through Elvin Jones' bands, it is a, a scintillating experience to play I mean, this, this violent ballet that he's constantly dancing on the drums has got to hone you. Yes, I'm honored to play with Elvin and Sonny and Willie and Chip. You know, it's really been a great experience for me. Well, we want to thank you, Ravi Coltrane. and wish you plenty of luck in the future and hope to be hearing lots more from you with the Elvin Jones Jazz Machine and with some of your own projects in the future. Thanks for being with us on this broadcast. Neil, uh, I have with me Willie Pickens.